We lost a fashion icon, and now it's time to look back on some of his most memorable works. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 most iconic Audrey Hepburn and Givenchy looks. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at pieces and outfits that were designed by Hubert de Givenchy to be worn by Audrey Hepburn in her best-known films. For many of these films, Edith Head is officially credited as the costume designer, though the designs may have been inspired by Givenchy. Number 10. Black Cocktail Dress – Sabrina The gowns that Hepburn wore in one of her best-known roles Sabrina are the subject of a bit of contention. That's because there are two different people who claim responsibility for them. Officially, the costume designer for the film was the revered Edith Head, who actually won an Academy Award for her work on the film. But Hubert de Givenchy has stated that the memorable dresses were actually designed by him, though they were produced by Head and her team on set. With both of them now gone, we may never know whose idea this gorgeous black evening gown was. How do you say, my brother has a lovely girl? Mon frère a une gentille petite amie. And how do you say, I wish I were my brother? Number 9. Pink Rhinestone Studded Dress – Breakfast at Tiffany's Oli. While we'll of course be talking about the iconic Breakfast at Tiffany's dress later on our list, the entire film is full of dazzling gowns by Givenchy. In this scene, Holly Golightly wears a standout hot pink dress covered in rhinestones. Ignore the racist undertones in Mickey Rooney's yellow face performance, as both the film's creators and the actor have since expressed their regret over it, and focus on just how stunning this piece of clothing is. It perfectly exemplifies 1960s fashion, though the film was shot at the very beginning of the decade. Good evening, Mr. Yunioshi. Number 8. Red and White Outfit – Charade In 1963 Charade, Hepburn is dressed in slightly more modern separates rather than the more feminine dresses she became known for wearing in her earlier films. The film primarily takes place in Paris, which is where Givenchy spent much of his life, so it should come as no surprise that the outfits in the movie take inspiration from the chic and simplistic style of Parisian women. This all-red ensemble with the white pill hat is one of the most memorable in a film full of gorgeous costumes, and the crimson color sets the tone of the mysterious nature of the plot. We can't forget her earlier red outfit paired with a leopard hat, which is equally striking. May I have a sandwich, please? Number 7. Bold White Gown – Funny Face Much of Givenchy's best work is on display in Funny Face, in which he collaborated on costume design with Edith Head. When Hepburn enters the scene, she's wearing turquoise opera-length gloves and a matching overcoat. But when she takes them off, she really stuns in this classically shaped gown. Her tiny waist is emphasized by the tight bodice, and the full skirt ends in a T-length hem, which gives the overall look a more contemporary feel. You know a dress is good when it still looks amazing even when it's soaking wet. Number 6. Pink and White Separates – Funny Face Funny Face is a movie all about fashion, so it should come as no surprise that Givenchy was able to flex his skills in the sartorial department and churn out great look after great look. Another memorable one from the film is the pink and white separate ensemble that Hepburn walks down the runway in, stunning her audience in the process. The color combination is striking, and the column style of the skirt makes the outfit feel way ahead of its time. Honestly, it isn't far-fetched to imagine a designer sending this look out at a fashion show today. Perfection! Number 5. Almost All Black Outfit – Funny Face If there's one scene in Funny Face that's considered the most memorable, it's probably this one. Audrey Hepburn does some pretty funny jazz dancing in a black mock neck sweater and slim black pants. Interestingly, the look is paired with white socks, which many would consider a fashion faux pas. Hepburn allegedly didn't like the look, but the film's director said that if she wore head-to-toe black, her movements wouldn't be as noticeable. In the end, they totally work against the odds. Number 4. Black and White Gown – Sabrina Sabrina may have been the first time that Givenchy collaborated with Audrey Hepburn on a film, but it certainly wouldn't be the last. This was the beginning of a long-time partnership, and this gorgeous dress is probably one of the reasons they decided to continue working together. It takes the classic cinched waist that works so well on Hepburn and makes it unique with a high-low style skirt that manages to combine two different silhouettes into one. The embellishment is expertly done, and the look is pulled together by the simple low heels and elegant gloves. Tonight I wanted it to be me. Mr. 
it's all in the family. Number three, wedding dress, funny face. In Funny Face, Hepburn's character says she feels dishonest wearing a wedding dress when it's not really her wedding day. But she truly does look the part. In fact, this white short-length gown is surely more iconic than any of the three wedding dresses that Hepburn had made to wear in her real life. The silhouette is unique because of the dropped waist and extreme volume of the skirt, which creates an effect that's totally unreal. Her veil with the tiny bow atop her head makes the entire thing picture perfect. Number 2. Red Winged Victory Dress – Funny Face Though Funny Face is packed full of scenes that show off one incredible sartorial look after another, none is more iconic than this one. In one of the most memorable scenes from the movie, Hepburn parades down the steps of the Louvre in a bright crimson dress with a matching chiffon scarf. She wears long gloves like she does in many other outfits in the movie, but in this case the clean white contrasting with the red is a perfect pairing. The strapless neckline and bold statement necklace also go flawlessly together, with the end result being just the right amount of extravagance. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. must know it was an alpine guide. Oh. Very strong, very blonde, with Edelweiss behind his ears. Number 1. Little Black Dress – Breakfast at Tiffany's It's the most iconic dress this actress has ever worn, and it's surely the dress that Hubert de Givenchy will be remembered for. In fact, it may well be the most well-loved dress in all of film history. We couldn't be talking about anything but Hepburn's classic little black dress that she wears while having breakfast at Tiffany's in the film of the same name. Audrey Hepburn once said of Givenchy, "...his are the only clothes in which I am myself." And after looking at all of these incredible pieces, we surely believe it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day!